Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Today it's time for tea. Y'all, so sit back. If you got a, a mug brewed, sit down and sip a little. If not, pause the video, make yourself some tea, and sit back for a few minutes because we all should take time for tea. Now, I do have a Sips by subscription, sipsby.com. I pay for it myself. This is not sponsored. However, if Sips by, you know, wanted to throw one of those at me, I would not be opposed to that because I've been enjoying the subscription that I pay for. Um, today's tea, which is brewing right now, I'm going to be reading this off of the personalized card they send you. These came out of my January tea box. Um, this one is Organic Hallows Eve, which I thought was weird to send in January, but you know, those flavors can be year round. And it's by Tranquilla Tea Organic. It says, one teaspoon of loose tea per eight to 10 ounces of water, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, so they want it boiling, uh, that's 100 degrees Celsius, steep three to five minutes. Uh, and it is black tea, vanilla, apricot pieces, orange pieces, cinnamon pieces, natural essence, all organic. I don't know what natural essence is, but you know, hey, whatever. See what it does to the tea. This says it does contain caffeine. Uh, an all organic seasonal black tea blended with fruity apricot and orange pieces with a comforting dash of cinnamon and vanilla. All of that sounds lovely. Now the tea for this, because it is loose tea, it came in this little envelope, which I have opened to take the tea out. It's just a sealed down envelope with a sticker. The sticker just says uh, Tranquility Organic, their little at symbol, probably on Insta or something. And the information that's on the front of that is right there, of course. It's not going to want to focus on my phone. Sorry. Um, it comes from Las Vegas, Nevada. And they have all the social medias. It's at Tranquilla T T E A Organic. And uh, oh, also on, on theirs and not on the Sips By uh, d directions, it says for a cup, pour 8 to 10 ounces of boiling spring water. Y'all. Uh, over one teaspoon of our organic loose leaf tea. Cover cup and steep for three to five minutes or preferred time. Tea tip, save your serving for a second or third steep. If brewing cold, steep tea in cold spring water for 10 to 15 minutes. Add ice and enjoy. Now I'm not trying iced tea today. As I'm recording this, uh, look outside. There's snow. Okay, it's cold outside right now. Um, in their ingredient list, they also have, in addition to all of the other stuff, they told us what the, what the essence was. It's organic natural brandy essence. So I think somebody may have waved a snifter of brandy around in front of the tea as they made it. Who knows? That beeping that you may or may not have heard, that, that was my timer because I timed it for five minutes so that I knew I was steeping it at least long enough. And what I have going here, I have got one of the sips by disposable bags that they give you with the tea in it and my little cats one of my cats uh clothes pins to keep it from falling in because you know it's a nice long string but if i leave it by itself it'll go in if i have this on it it won't move like a millimeter okay that's just what it is now the color coming off of that is a very light color i might actually let it steep a little bit longer because I think this is more than the eight to 10 ounces of water. It's a fairly big mug. By the way, this mug that says cat person on it, and it's got all the kitties with little bow ties and, and scarves and things on it that are so stinking adorable. I got that at five below. Yep, it was like three bucks. I thought it was cute and I wanted another mug. I didn't need another mug. I mean, let's be real, I have enough, but you know, mmm. Oh, that's nice. You get the cinnamon in the smell. It's not an overpowering cinnamon, but you can tell, oh yes, there is some cinnamon in this. Nice. I have not yet sweetened it uh, because you know when I put sweetener in, I use the stevia sweeteners. I use one of those and I've also got my creamer next to me, zero sugar, coffee made vanilla flavor because there's some vanilla in this already and I imagine that vanilla creamer is going to taste yummy. There are so many teas out there to try. Um, in my Sip Spy box, I get four different teas every month. And I, I don't often get to them all because I'm always behind. You, you know, when I'm watching your videos out there, any creators, it's not on the same day that it came out. 
or maybe even the next day. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little late. I'm always behind on things. Um, I don't take time to drink tea every day as I probably should because I enjoy it. I enjoy sitting down, nice warm mug, and just sipping away, especially once it cools off enough to drink. Anybody who knows me or who's watched this before knows that the extremely hot temperatures just burn my face off and I have to let it cool a little bit. All right, we have gone at least another minute since it completely finished its time. I'm not going to squeeze it, but I'm going to let it drain so that it's not just totally full of liquid. And I have a little plate down in front of me. I'm not just like setting it on the floor or something. See, little plate. And that will go over there so that it is not so much in my way. I do have a spoon. Let's, uh, okay. That's a nice light looking tea color. Nice for a black tea, which is, black tea is probably at the top for me and all the varieties thereof. Um, yeah, so let's try some. Yes, I have to blow on it, okay? It's too hot. Yeah, I'm still blowing on it. Y'all will deal. Don't get any of that brandy essence. But I do get a little of the cinnamon. In the background, there's like an orange peel floating around somewhere, but it's not in your face. Um, not tasting the apricot, but maybe I need a few more sips first. But I am going to sweeten it because I think it'll just be better. A little sweetener in it. One packet. Uh, uh, uh. If you know where that's from, you're probably my age. Love me some Sesame Street. I still love me some Sesame Street. I don't watch it, you know, but I have fond memories of it. And I think that every kid should watch Sesame Street. I just do. Teach us good things about, you know, being a good neighbor and being a friend and listening and talking. And yeah, they always have good messages on Sesame Street. I always thought it was kind of cool. Of course, when I was a baby, like little, because it came out, I think, the year I was born, in 1970, um, my mom would prop me down in front of the TV for Sesame Street and for Star Trek. Now, Star Trek was already in reruns by then. Of course, I didn't know. But just so you know, that should explain a lot. Okay. Yeah, Sesame Street and Star Trek. Yes, you need a sweetness, even if it's just a little bit. I think the sweetness, just adding a little sweetener, brings out some of those flavors and just kind of makes them pop. Oh, come on, cool off enough so I can drink you. Mm. That is nice. That will be nice to sit around and the cup is even hot. Ooh. Um, to just enjoy a nice hot cup of tea. Luckily... Oscar is not trying to get into my tea because no matter what I do, he thinks he wants some. All right, time to put a little creamer in there because I like milk or creamer in my tea a good bit of the time. And it'll help cool it down. That's another bonus to using the creamer stuff or milk. It helps to cool it down just a bit for people like me who just cannot have the super hot liquids. The vanilla with the vanilla that's already in the tea, yes, it does make the vanilla like front and center, but vanilla is a lovely flavor. And if you just take a sip and enjoy, you do kind of get those other flavors in the background. It's not a super strong tea. I probably could have steeped this for like another 10 minutes. It doesn't taste like it would have any bitterness to it, which is weird because if you over steep the tea, a lot of times it will get bitter. Okay, I'm going to sit here and enjoy this cup of tea, or big mug of tea, you know, because I'm a cat person. <laughs> Do you have any fun mugs that you like to drink out of that you have no place for anymore because your mug cabinet is full? Or is that just me? It might be just me. Anywho, just so you know what goes on on Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. We have time for tea on Mondays because I think on Mondays we definitely need to sit down and have a cup of tea. Um, 
On Tuesdays, we have snacks around the world. You never know where my snacks are going to come from. Sometimes people send me stuff, and that's kind of fun. Uh, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays round now are kind of free days. Sometimes there's a mini haul if I've done some shopping. You never know what might pop up if there's some happy mail. Saturday is the vloggy thing. That's where I just kind of recap what's been going on, not only in life, but in my little crochet world. Because I do crochet, not as fast as some people, but I seem to get a good bit done. <laughs> Especially when I sit down and I'm just into it. Um, and Sundays, there is a book look. I like to find books about crochet and crochet adjacent things. And sometimes they're really old, sometimes they're not so old. And I like to look through them and I tell you where I got them and stuff. And I put the details in the description so that if that's something you want to track down and get, you should be able to find one. Speaking of descriptions, look down in there. You never know what you may miss. Uh, check out anything on my channel. There should be things that have popped across up there. And down in the description are lots of things, including my Amazon list about some teas and other things and uh, something about postcards. Yeah, you need to check it out. Thank you for coming by and enjoying a cup of tea with me today. I will see you very soon. Bye, y'all.